And, and I think if for most countries, they should view the birth rate as, as the single biggest problem they need to solve. Um, I mean, if you don't make new humans, there's no humanity. And, and all the policies in the world don't matter. Elon Musk is no stranger to radical ideas, but his latest concept may be his most daring yet, pregnancy robots. At the Wii Robot Conference, Musk hinted at a new frontier for his Optimus robot, one that stretches beyond household chores and basic AI tasks. Imagine a world where machines don't just serve us, but can carry a human life from conception to birth. This isn't just about convenience, it's about completely redefining how we think about childbirth and the role of technology in family life. Musk has touted this potential baby-carrying bot as a way to reduce pregnancy complications and make parenthood safer, but for many, it raises more questions than it answers. Are we prepared to let robots step into such an intimate parts of human experience? Is Musk's vision for Optimus a groundbreaking solution to medical challenges? Or is it another step toward a future that may rob us of our essential humanity? Musk has long been vocal about his belief in technology as a transformative force, and the Optimus robot project aims to revolutionize labor and caregiving. Initially designed to perform basic tasks like walking dogs or doing groceries, Optimus is now being envisioned as a machine that could one day carry a human baby to term. Musk believes this could solve a significant issue for people facing high-risk pregnancies or fertility challenges. In theory, a robot pregnancy could eliminate the physical dangers that mothers face, from gestational diabetes to life-threatening delivery complications. For those who might otherwise be unable to carry a child, this could offer a unique path to parenthood. But as exciting as it sounds, not everyone is celebrating. Many worry that this new idea could push humanity down a path that takes away from one of our most fundamental experiences, the journey of pregnancy itself. The concept of a pregnancy robot raises countless ethical questions and deep concerns. While Musk is framing this as an innovative solution, others see it as a step too far. Human reproduction has always been surrounded by intimate bonds and natural processes that cannot simply be replicated by technology. There's a deep-rooted fear that robots carrying human babies could strip away that essential human experience, detaching parents from the natural emotions and connections that begin before birth. Pregnancy isn't just about carrying a baby. It's a bonding process that starts in the womb, where babies respond to their mother's heartbeat, voice, and daily rhythms. For many, these first connections are foundational to a child's development. Can a robot, no matter how advanced, replicate such a complex and personal process? Musk may envision a future where technology overcomes biology, but skeptics are cautious, seeing potential harm in a world where robots replace a mother's touch. Then there's the issue of cost. Musk's ambitious pregnancy robots would not come cheap, estimated to range from $20,000 to $30,000, this technology would be accessible primarily to the wealthy. For many, this is yet another example of tech and access advances that deepen the social divide. Only those who can afford such technology would benefit, potentially creating a society where children born from baby bots belong to a higher class with superior access to technology and health advantages. Such a disparity could widen the gap between rich and poor, dividing society even further along economic lines. Would society begin to view children born naturally as somehow inferior to those born through the controlled environment of a machine? This futuristic scenario may sound dystopian, but these are real concerns that arise when technology begins to encroach on traditionally human spaces. The psychological and emotional impact of robot-assisted pregnancy could be far-reaching. Current research suggests that babies start developing bonds with their mothers during pregnancy, responding to sound, touch, and other stimuli. It's not simply about physical growth, but also early social and emotional connections. If a child is carried by a machine, these initial experiences are absent. What does that mean for the child's development, their sense of attachment, or even their sense of identity? Parents too, especially mothers, may miss out on the profound emotional experience that carrying a child can bring. Musk's Optimus Project, in promising to simplify the complex journey of pregnancy, might unintentionally strip it of its depth and meaning. For many, pregnancy is not a task to be completed, but a transformative period in their lives. If robots take on this role, it's worth considering what is lost along the way. Beyond the emotional implications, there are health and developmental risks that we simply cannot ignore. Pregnancy is a natural process that science is only beginning to understand fully. The human body has evolved over thousands of years to carry a child, providing an environment that fosters not just physical development, but also immune and hormonal regulation. Babies born via machines may lack exposure to the unique conditions of a human womb, and we don't yet know what the long-term effects of this might be. Could these children face unforeseen health challenges, 
or might they develop differently due to the lack of natural maternal interactions? Musk may be optimistic, but experts warn that we are diving into uncharted territory without fully understanding the biological intricacies involved. Science has not yet replicated a fully functional artificial womb, and attempting to do so could lead to more complications than solutions. On a societal level, Musk's vision of a world where robots handle pregnancy might sound convenient, but it could fundamentally alter our perception of parenthood and the family unit. If having a child becomes as simple as programming a machine, will we begin to devalue the experience of parenting itself? The emotional, physical, and psychological challenges that come with pregnancy and early child rearing are often what bond parents and children together. By outsourcing these experiences to robots, we risk creating a generation disconnected from the very essence of parenthood. Children born in this way might grow up differently with a unique sense of their origins and potentially a weaker bond to their parents. These are complex social questions that reach beyond science and technology, striking at the heart of what it means to be human. Musk's pregnancy robots also bring up issues around human rights and ethical considerations. Pregnancy isn't merely a process that can be outsourced. It's a deeply personal and often sacred journey for many people. Handing over control to a machine raises concerns about the commodification of human life where the intimate act of creating and nurturing life is reduced to a commercial transaction. Furthermore, it begs the question, who will control this technology? If Musk's vision becomes reality, corporations could hold incredible power over human reproduction, determining who has access to this technology and under what terms. The implications are vast, and the potential for misuse or unethical practices cannot be ignored. Should we be concerned about a future where robots don't just serve us, but also control critical aspects of human life? For all the concerns, there are those who you view Musk's pregnancy robots as a revolutionary breakthrough. Many women face severe health risk when carrying a child, while others may not be able to conceive naturally. For these individuals, Musk's robots could offer an unprecedented opportunity to experience parenthood without endangering their lives. In places with limited access to healthcare, this technology could reduce maternal mortality rates, offering a safer alternative. In this sense, the Optimus robot might be seen as a medical innovation that addresses significant gaps in reproductive health care. However, even supporters acknowledge that strict ethical guidelines and regulations would be essential to ensure the technology is used responsibly and remains accessible to those who need it most. Elon Musk has always been a forward thinker, willing to explore boundaries where others might hesitate. But with pregnancy robots, he may be treading into territory that humanity is not fully prepared for. While his vision offers potential solutions to real problems, it also raises countless questions about the ethical, social, and emotional cost of such technology. Can we trust machines with such a fundamental human role? Or are we risking more than we can comprehend by allowing technology to step into this intimate space? As the debate over Musk's pregnancy robots heats up, it's clear that this idea, whether embraced or feared, challenges the very core of what we understand about family, parenting, and the role of technology in our lives. The ultimate question Musk's proposal brings to light is, how far are we willing to go in our pursuit of convenience and technological advancement? Pregnancy robots, if realized, might reshape society in unimaginable ways, potentially even altering the way we connect, empathize, and understand each other. Whether Musk's vision materializes or remains a concept, it serves as a powerful reminder of the limits, or lack thereof, of human ambition. In a world where technology continues to merge with everyday life, must pregnancy robots represent both an opportunity and a warning, a glimpse into a future where even the most human experiences are intertwined with machines. As we contemplate this potential future, we're left with an unsettling question. Are we steering technology or is it steering us?